Welcome back to another episode of Wooly TV. Today, we're lucky enough, thanks Firewire, for sending over a Dominator 2. This is in the helium construction, so we've ridden these before in a couple of other reviews and they're really good in small junky surf. This is a 2.0, so the 2.0 is a lot different to the old Dominator. Now that's good because I never really gelled with the old Dominator. Had a big wide round tail on it, it had clunky sort of rails, it never really suited me. I had a demo years ago, I think they came out around 2008, 2009, something like that. I ended up giving it to my brother. Now, this board on the other hand is completely different. I'm not even sure it's really a Dominator. It's nothing like the old one. I reckon it's just a good little step down short performance board by the looks of it. This one's a 511 at 33.9. So it's similar to what I ride. You know, my normal short board's around 6061, around 33, 34 litres. So this is right on the money, but it's a bit shorter. So it's a bit more squashed, a bit more compact. It's just a medium rocket board. They're saying it's good in two to six foot. Now, usually when I read those reviews, I'm guessing two foot and six foot. That's what they mean. They don't mean six foot Hawaiian or six foot West Oz. I'm thinking it's got a wave range up about this big but looking at the tail shape I reckon you might be able to get it up overhead I reckon I could ride it in overhead surf for sure so it's got a five fin setup I will give it a crack as a quad but I'm thinking looking at the tail shape for me and the way I like to ride my boards I reckon this was going to suit me better as a thruster definitely got nice pull down rails they are a lot nicer from what I remember the old Dominator and it's quite refined to the tail just a normal sort of short board squash tail on it it really does look like just a normal sort of performance step down short board. Someone could use it as their normal board if they live in places that are a bit grovelier. I don't think I'd be riding it as a you know overhead surf. Sure, I can ride it in overhead surf if I get a chance while we're doing the review, but I'm thinking I'll try and find ways to waste the head height because I reckon looking at the shape of it, that's definitely how it's going to go in its best, at its best. It's getting cold over here at the moment. We're in our winter, so fingers crossed we can find a few nice sunny days so Dylan doesn't have to sit in the rain and film. So let's get it out there and see how it goes. We'll see you soon. Yoo! on the Dominator. Well, I've had a couple of surfs on it and it feels pretty good so far but I'm a bit con confused with the fins what to do. I think I liked it better as a thruster.
Now this little guy was a bit of a surprise for me. Um, I've had a couple of surfs on it. I had a definitely enough to work it, work out uh, how it went. Now, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. Like I said, I was gonna test it as a quad and a thruster straight away. I had a few waves on it as a quad. I definitely liked it better as a thruster. And I ended up playing with the fins on it. And I put in some, um, some JS, which are basically just a carver fin. And I don't use carver fins all that often, but I found in this particular board, I like the carver sort of shape better than what I uh, than what I did the performers. And I definitely, like I said, the try was way better than the quad for me. If you love quads, the option's there for you. But for me in this type of board, I definitely preferred it in that, in the uh, thruster setup, the tri-fin setup. First off, I, uh, I was a bit wobbly on it. I think I was surfing the board a bit far up on it and it may have come from being as a quad. As soon as I dropped my foot back to the end of the tail pad and spread my, um, my front foot further forward, I found I could ride quite a wide stance on this board and it went a lot better. It's got a lot to do with the, the clustering of the fins. I think the rear fin, if you have a look there, is quite a long way forward and it's quite a clustered fin setup. So I've made sure that I've got my back foot in between the fins and I found I got a lot more out of the board than what I did when I'm a my front foot, uh, sorry, my back foot was further up. I surfed it in be Little Beachy. I got a couple little fast closeouts that weren't very powerful and I actually managed to get it going in definitely waist high surf. So it is a step down and then I had a couple of surfs where it was up in that shoulder high mark, head high mark and you'll see the board went really well. Um, it definitely went a lot better when I got my feet in the right spot. I'd probably compare it to something like if you're in the JS line, you've ridden those. I reckon the Monster Box, the Sci-Fi is around that same length and volume, but I reckon it actually groveled a little bit better than the Sci-Fi, the, the Slater Design Sci-Fi. It did have a little bit of a feel like the old Gamma, like the, the wider Gamma. It had a little feel like that. If you like the Gamma, the Slater Designs Gamma, then this would be a board you could definitely look at. It was a little, had that similar feel to it. Overall though, I was really surprised because it groveled really well and then it did go really well once I got a couple of steeper waves as well. So if you have a look at the footage, you got any questions you want to ask me, drop it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching another episode. Thank you Firewire for looking after me and giving us another board. That was the Dominator 2.0. We'll see you soon. More reviews coming your way. Make sure you subscribe. Yoo!